Hi, this is Venkat and today uh, I will be going to be installed solar configuration for Sitecore 9.1. I note down sequence of the steps it is easy to follow. I will follow the exact step to install solar for Sitecore 9.1. This is the Windows 10 operating system at my local machine. Okay, so you can find these steps under the comment section of this video. Okay, the first one is the like solar uh, compatibility table because I am going to be install the solar for site core 9.1. So I will say if you see the, the configuration section, compatibility section. For experience platform 9.1, solar 7.2.1 we need to be installed. So I'm installing solar 7.2.1. So first of all, I'm downloading that. Next one, I am going to be installed Java runtime as well as Java, Java development kit. So 9.0.4, like try to be installed exactly the uh, Java 9.0.4, which is compatible with the solar. If you take latest, you may be face some problems while uh, starting the solar conf solar. So if I see here, I am going to be install first Java runtime in moment so for Windows 64 bit. To download this, you need a Oracle account. You can create if you don't have. I am also downloading to other. So I am also downloading a Java development kit, Windows 64 bit. So it is downloading Java development kit. In the meantime, I'm I'm going to be move this. Okay, it is downloading. I'm going to be extract this. So the extraction of solar is done. And I will check. Okay, the downloading also done. Just I'm copying. I'm moving these files to I'm creating one folder just work on in the C drive so uh, this is the path okay so now if I see here the solar I have JDK JRE is there so the, you need to make sure that before going to be installed, first check whether the uh, Java is installed at our system or not. So you can check Java, 
it's not there and uh, you can also check in the c drive program files there is no java folder java is not installed if it is all already installed you can check the version and you can uninstall if it is a different version of this one you can go and uninstall you can go you can uninstall from as you know like from the control panel you can go and you can go here you can find here with the uh, java runtime you can uninstall from there now it this is a, a new system so it doesn't have anything i'm going to be installed so So Java development kit is done. Now I'm going to be install JRE. Now JRE also done. Now you need to be set the Java home, like uh, the global variable. The first of all, we will check like whether uh, the Java is washed, Java is installed or not. Just I'm closing and reopening. So Java is open. Just I want to check the version of that one, the 9.0.4. The version is installed. And as I said, another way to check, go to the C drive. Program files, you can find Java, JDK, and JRE is there. So take this path. So I want to set this global variable. So go to the environment variable. So just I'm adding this one Java home. I'm giving the path. Okay, it was there. Clicking okay. Okay. And now just I downloaded the solar and installed JDK and JRE. Now you can test uh solar whether solar is running or not from the command line first you need to start the solar so the path where you put it this one if I check here the solar is in the work solar group so if i see here the c drive this path this is the path that means if i go here this is one okay just while extracting they created another folder just this one the bin has the solar command so just i'm copying this one and uh, 8984 port just i'm opening i'm starting the solar from command line Hello, the access now solar started so you can check solar local host host and wait for solar is running so to run the solar you only required the compatibility versions of jdk jre and the solar version now solar is running the next step is you need to secure the solar to so to secure the solar then you need to be create and install certificate for solar 
so there are the three steps of that for that one first to create the certificate you need to create the key store just i'm taking copy of this one now if i see here this path the first one the key tool this is the main one key tool which will generate the key store the path should be there at your system that's why like if you jre 2.0 if you want you can cross check the folder is there okay before that what i can do is like i will go to the path of work solar then i will try to exclude that command so that the certificate will be stored or uh, will be stored at the local path right generally so okay, now the, the the key store is created the way that we get the path work on solar so you can find this is the key store pass this key store to create the certificate for the same command for the same like the key tool.exe I'm copying this one and if I see here that there is a password secret we are passing here in the command prompt in the part of the one of the property so I'm excluding that so if I see here whatever I created the key store I'm passing here so certificate one entry successfully created that is a certificate is created now what you need to do is you need to install the certificate to your local machine first so to do this one double click on this one choose the local machine and okay this is the right path okay the, the password is a secret so the secret is the password we passed here while creating the certificate this is the password we are passing here secret so where you need to be place the certificate under trusted root certificate authorities okay certificate is installed at our local mission now what you need to do now you created a certificate and install it to our local mission the certificate you need to, to secure the, your solar you need to assign the certificate to the solar so this step i'm excluding so what you need to do is we need to move the key store and certificate folder to the specific path of the solar so go to the etc so what i need to do is copy these two files go here and server etc i'm copying to here you can i can specify the path here that's wherever the solar was there under the under that the chain is server and etc next one is enable the ssl in solar to do this one go to the bin and solar in dot command go to the bin in dot command this is the one so command yeah and i'm opening the file just you need to be enabled uh, uncomment couple of lines so these are the lines you need to be uncomment So the password whatever we gave the secret and the same thing the file name we given this one now you try to save this so the uh, post eight nine eight four So the what you need to do is this yes, I'm closing this command now install the certificate at local mission and I'm, I configure the certificate to the solar just again you can test within the command line yeah just I'm starting again 
the same port because we already uh, closed the command prompt. Now it's running. If I, I already configured the HTTPS certificate for this one, so it has to run. Yeah, now if I see, now it is a secure, the solar is secure. You can find, you can see the HTTPS CI. Now, the first solar is working without HTTPS. Now that we install the uh, certificate and secure, uh, we secured our solar configuration. Now, the final one is like, uh, this is a command prompt we need to be run solar. So the majority of the cases at our local machine, you will install, you will set up the solar to run as a Windows service. So just two steps are there for that. First, like to run solar as a Windows service, first you need to require NSSM. I'm downloading that one. This tool helps easily to host solar as a Windows service. Just I'm um, again copying this one to the same path. And I'm extracting that. So the part of this one, okay, just taking this path. and I'm giving the solar 7.2.1 it opens that one you can give the path here so go to the command work Solar NSSM. So is it a oh sorry solar pin and this is the command we need to give here and the argument you need to pass as a start iPhone F iPhone P and the port number I'm giving this time 8983 uh, the same thing I'm giving as a display name here. Just I'm installing this solar as a Windows service. Now installation is done. Now I need to check whether it started the Windows service started automatically or not. If it is not started, who will start? So it is not at started Windows service. I'm starting now. Now you no need to be run this one as a command prompt like starting off that one now we already hosted solar as a windows service now i can just check https local host now this time i gave that for windows service 89883 uh, solar is up and running now so first to uh, for solar we only required a uh, uh, resp like the compatibility version of the JD and JRE we installed and we tested from the command line it's working then we want we secure the solar by creating the certificate and, and uh, like assign the certificate to the solar the third one is we installed the solar as a windows service thank you